Metal object found in banana not connected to strawberry contamination. So we do have a bit of an update regarding this. As some of you guys know, and something we've been talking a bit, a little bit of that lately, uh, metal objects, needles and whatnot have been found in strawberries. Uh, now at the end of the day, there was also a metal object found in a banana. And we do have an update, so let's jump into the story. Update. Investigations around the discovery of a metal object in a banana have found it's not connected to the strawberry scare. So, uh, the Queensland government has confirmed the incident where metal objects were reported to be in a banana was a mental health related. Okay, so someone nuts decided to put a metal object in a banana. Earlier it had been reported police were investigating a case where questioned about during a press conference with Premier Anastasia Pakazar about something unrelated this afternoon. The news comes in the wake of the needles found in strawberries across the country, plunging the industry into chaos and sparking consumer panic. Queensland Police Commissioner Ian Stewart had confirmed officers were investigating the incident. But a spokesperson for the Premier then clarified a person with a mental health issue put the object in the banana. Okay, why is it just, why is it a, okay, so obviously you've got to be nuts to go sticking metal objects in bananas in case people eat them. Why is it that we are ruling it as a mental health issue and not terrorism or sabotage or whatever it may be? Why, why is it, I'm starting to get the feeling that there might be a minority at, at play here. They're ruling, every time they rule mental health, I automatically go to, okay, there's a minority somewhere along this line. But anyway, let's keep going. Commissioner Stewart did not provide details of the case at the time. Quote, we have a report about one incident involving a banana. This is only one of those that we've had so far. I'm aware of, Commissioner Stewart told reporters. Quote, sadly, those are in the community who perhaps don't understand the harm they're doing. Well, no, I think that's a lot of crap. I think they fully understand what they're doing. But anyway, the government made clear case was unrelated to the strawberry issue. It follows the extraordinary strawberry sabotage saga, which has spread overseas and the search for the culprit turns into a national-wide manhunt. A New Zealand supermarket chain has stopped selling Australian strawberries as the strawberry needle scare widens. Needles or pins have been found by consumers in six states and territories. New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania and the ACT. Police are leading an investigation into the source of the needles and the state government has summed a reward of 100000 for anyone with information that leads to the capture of the culprits. So look at the end of the day, obviously, um, what's my thoughts, what's my takeaway on all this? Um, I think someone who has heard about the strawberry sabotage has gone through and done it to a banana. Um, does he have mental issues? Obviously, he's sticking, you know, metal needles or whatever it may be into a banana. Obviously, he's a little bit nuts. Um, so at the end of the day, but yeah, I, I do think this is someone trying to get some fame, trying to go through and just trying to sabotage the banana industry or whatever it may be. Um, I, I think ruling it as mental health is a bit of a joke. Um, yeah, sure, he might have mental health issues. Obviously, you've got to do this. But at the end of the day, I think he should still be charged with terrorism or, or whatever it may be. Um, I think ruling this as mental health is a cop-out. Um, and it's going to encourage other people to go through and do it. Because at the end of the day, I doubt this guy is going to be charged with anything because of, quote, he's just mentally ill. Like I say, it's a cop-out. It's a way of not going through and actually continuing or pressing charges. And I'm, every time I hear about this, I keep thinking there's a minority. Oh, there's another minority involved in this somehow, and that's why they don't want to rule it as terrorism or anything like that, because they don't get branded a racist. Who knows? I could be wrong, but at the end of the day, that's what I hear. When I automatically assume it's mental health and not terrorism or whatever, I automatically assume minority. I don't know. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Why do you think they are ruling this as mental health? Do you think at the end of the day that there's a minority at play and they don't want to push for terrorism or whatever it may be, sabotage or whatever it may be? Or do you think that just, they're just trying to calm the, 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 the PR around this? Is trying to, you know, get rid of this sort of the stigma. They don't want to go branding it as terrorism or whatever it may be because, the, you know, the bad press. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. 
If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.